Listen, I know I make way too many lists, but I can't stop. And one of my favorite lists to make every month are new releases. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel if you've never been here and if you have welcome back it is another month for new releases now i just can't read every single one of these but i love making lists and so all of these are actually on a list in my phone so i don't forget them and that way when i see them or when i can pick them up i do there is a lot on my list my calendar is overflowing um most of these are romance but some of them are just straight fantasy or sci-fi and uh, yeah let's just get into it i'll put the dates up at the top and we'll just go by date we'll go in chronological order because yeah how else do you do this i don't know that's how i keep track so the first books all come out on April 4th and the first one on that day is The Scourge Between Stars by Ness Brown. This is a sci-fi horror and it sounds good and the cover looks awesome as well. They are coming back to Earth from a failed colonization mission. They got to the planet, the planet wasn't working out. So now they're like tail is between their legs and they're coming back to Earth and something is killing people on the ship. You have Jacqueline who is the acting captain and she is trying to figure out who is killing all these people on the ship. I love this because I love a good sci-fi that's on a spaceship because it's very claustrophobic. And then you have that added mystery on uh, this horror element of what is killing people. And it just sounds really good. The next one coming out on April 4th is Anna Maria and the Fox by Liana De La Rosa. This is with a Mexican heiress and a shrewd British politician. It's kind of a forbidden romance and it's historical and the cover is absolutely gorgeous. It has caught my eye and I've had, this is probably one of my most anticipated reads. And I cannot wait to read it. The next one is the plus one from Maisie Eddings. This is the third book in her A Brush With Love um, series. I read the first one, didn't read the second one, but this is the third one. Um, and this one is a childhood enemies uh, to lovers romance where they also have to fake date for a wedding. So it Maisie Eddings, I really did like A Brush With Love. I think they're a really great rom-com and yeah, I think this one will be great as well. The next one on April 4th is a young adult romance, but don't write it off yet because this is by F.T. Lukens and it is called Spellbound. And this is two apprentice sorcerers and they have to team up to save their teachers and protect their own magic. Um, I think I read In Deeper Waters from F.T. Lukens and I, even though that's YA and I don't read a lot of YA, it was really cute and I think this one is going to be even better. It sounds really great and it's honestly getting a lot of great early reviews. So, And the last one on April 4th is Queen Bee by Amelie Howard. This is Amelie Howard's first young adult historical romance and I read this one. I gave it four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. So in this one, you have a girl that was ruined by a vicious rumor and she has left for three years in the country and reinvented herself into this girl that's going to sweep the ball season and she's gonna be the diamond of the season and in doing so, she's going to ruin ruin that friend group that spread that vicious rumor about her so it's kind of a revenge story but also feels very mean girls ish um and it was really cute i really enjoyed it the next books are on april 11th and the first one is if only you by chloe lease this is a brother's best friends sports romance um i'm way behind on the series and i don't know if i'll get caught up but i know a lot of people are looking forward to this one and maybe i'll try it when i'm in my sports romance phase i'm just not quite there yet but it is on my list and the next one out on april 11th is something spectacular by alexis hall i just love alexis hall's books they're so fun so great this is peggy's book I thought it would be with Arabella, but I guess I gotta wait one more book for Arabella's book. Um, I still think this book will be fun. A lot of shenanigans and hijinks. And yeah, I am actually going to be reading this one. It is just, um, I just put it on my TBR for April. The next book is not a romance, but it also comes out on April 11th and it is Untethered Sky by Fonda Lee. I've been really interested in Fonda Lee's Jade City 
um, series, but haven't quite got to it yet, but this one sounds really great. So in this one, you have Esther, whose family was torn apart by a manticore, and she is kind of out for vengeance against these mystical, magical monsters. It just sounds cool. I love mystical and magical monsters, and you know what? We're all about a revenge story as well. I think Fonda Lee is gonna be a great writer that I'm gonna really love, and I would like to get to this soon. On April 13th, you have That Time I Drugged a Dragon by Kimberly Lemming, one of my favorite authors. This is gonna be a good time, I just know it is, and I this is definitely going to be on my TBR soon. I do love that Kimberly Lemming just got picked up by a publishing company, so I think the covers are going to change, so I will definitely be buying this cover as much as I can, when I can, and I can't wait for it. I just love the world that Kimberly Lemming has created. It always makes me laugh and brings me joy. And yeah, definitely can't wait for this one. And then on April 14th, you have The Ashes and the Star Cursed King, which is the next Carissa Broadbent book. Um, this is the second book after The Serpent and the Wings of Night. This series owns me. I gave the first one five stars. I cannot wait for the second one. Carissa Broadbent has having her moment again right now and I am just living for it. I love finding a new author that I just absolutely cannot not read and that is Carissa Broadbent. The next books are all April 18th and the first one is The Scoundrel and the Cedar by Cleo Evans. I've been really wanting to read some books by Cleo Evans. She does some really good monster romance books. This one is from the Monster Ball series, which a lot of authors are doing books for. Um, it sounds good. Male, male, monster romance uh, with a satyr. <laughs> what else do I need to know? I don't. I don't need to know anymore. The next one on April 18th is The Fiancé Farce by Alexandra Bella Fleur. Uh, again, I don't know anything about this book. Total cover lust for this book. Um, all I know is I'm assuming there's some fake fiancé-ing going on <laughs> because it's the fiancé farce. It says steamy sapphic rom-com um, about a quiet bookseller and a romance novel cover model. Sign me up. And the last one that I have on April 18th is The Blood Gift by N.E. Davenport. This is, again, a second book um, in a duology, so the final book. Um, the first book, I just read The Blood Trials. Very, very good. This is not a romance. It is a sci-fi, and it feels very YA as well. Um, it is fast paced and a lot of action. There is a lot of misogyny and racism that the main character has to fight against in the first book. And I really desperately need to see how that all works out in the second book. The next book, I'm actually shocked. I haven't read any of these books yet because they seem like something I totally would love. This is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Holt. And this comes out on April 20th. These books just sound like a little bit of historical romance, a little bit of magic, and a lot of rom-com-ness goodness. A lot of rom-com goodness. So I don't know why I haven't read any of these yet. I really need to get to them. I think if I find them on audiobook, I will just like binge them all. <laughs> And on April 21st, you have Charming the Devil. Um, this is by Sarah Blue, and it is the second book. The first book was Charming Your Dad. I just added that to my April TBR, so I will be reading that this month. And if I really like it, why not? I'll just go into the second one as well. <laughs> um, these are like a witchy book about, the first book is about someone trying to get back at her ex, so she charms her ex's dad. And this one, let's see what it says. It says nothing. It says nothing on Goodreads. So I don't know anything about it other than it's coming out. <laughs> and the first one sounds interesting. So why not look into the second one? Also on April 21st, we have The Remarkable Retirement of Edna Fisher. This is a fantasy and it just sounds great. The author is E.M. Anderson. <laughs> Um, it says you're never too old for adventure and your heroine is an 83 year old geriatric named Edna and she is only armed with <laughs> knitting needles and gumption. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a chosen one, but she's chosen at 83 years old and not a teen. And it just sounds fun 
and I had to put this on my list. <laughs> I definitely need to see what this book is about. Another list of books on April 25th, the first one being Happy Place by Emily Henry. I am not a huge Emily Henry fan, but I know a lot of people love her, so I'm putting it on here. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because I'm sure you've heard about it already. So Emily Henry has a new book coming out this month and it's on April 25th. Another author with a book coming out this day that is just huge is TJ Klune and his next book, um, In the Lives of Puppets, I think that's what it's called, is coming out this day. TJ Klune is just a magical writer. Um, I really loved his previous books, so I can't imagine not loving this one as well. I really need to get to more of them. Great stuff. Um, another book coming out on April 25th is Rogue's Rules for Seductions by Eva Lee, and <laughs> I have got to read this, and this is finally Dom and Willa's book that has been, this relationship has been hinted at the entire series. This is the third book in the series and I really, really, really need to read this one. I can't wait for it. And the last book that I have for April 25th is The Duke's Counterfeit Wife by Carolyn Lee. This is the third book in her surprise Duke's series. I, I can't not say it like that. Surprise Duke's. <laughs> I love it. These are just historical romance rom-coms. Um, very light and fluffy reads and I enjoyed the first one, didn't love it, but I need to read the second and this third one and I just, you know what, I love a reluctant duke. Like, I can't get enough of them. On April 27th, you have The Crown of Oaths and Curses. This is Jay Bree's new fantasy romance series. I loved the Ties That Bind series, and so I'm really hoping I love her fantasy series as well. Um, again, I don't really know much about it. There are two prequel novellas, The Scepter and The Sword, um, that you can read beforehand, which I plan on doing. And yeah, it, the, the novellas are kind of about the two main characters, their history. So I think it will be beneficial for the story and also to just kind of like get you ready for the main canon. You know what I mean? <laughs> also on April 27th, you have a new book from Scarlett Scott. This is The, Gov the Goodbye Governess. Um, this is the uh, fourth book in the Unexpected Lord series. Again, I love a good unexpected, reluctant Duke, Lord, Baron, I don't care. <laughs> I will read it and Scarlett Scott definitely can write a spicy historical romance. So it is on my calendar to read on Kindle Unlimited. And the last book on April 27th is again, another Carissa Broadbent book. This is Slaying the Vampire Conqueror. This is going to be the first book in a series of books with a lot of different authors regarding enemies to lovers, romances, fantasy romance, enemies to lovers trope. Um, so this is the first one. Again, these are all going to be full length novels and this whole series sounds really good. I really can't wait for it. So that's all the new releases that I have for April. Are you gonna be reading any of these? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.